Guys, what's going on? It's Fursi here from P4C. Welcome back to the channel. You see the scale, you see some Pokemon packs. Indeed, we are doing something quite controversial, potentially. Uh, whether it's good or bad, I'll leave it up to you to be the judge. But if you are against uh, weighing packs or if you are against controversial videos like these, stay away from this particular video. At the same time, you can go and check out uh, some of our other content. In fact, we do have some uh, Ruler of the Black Flames giveaway this weekend. So if you want to get involved, make sure you check out the scheduled live stream. Now, Japanese Pokemon stuff uh, in terms of booster boxes and cards in general are very, very expensive these days. And most people uh, cannot afford to buy a complete booster box and some people will opt to buy loose packs online. Uh, the purpose of this particular video is purely for educational uh, because like I said these are quite expensive and I'm not saying the sellers are all untrustworthy. I just want to make sure uh, we make a video and people are warned or alert about the potential downfalls uh, with coming to buy loose packs online. Uh, make sure you buy from obviously reliable sources uh, if you are going to buy some loose packs. Now for this particular video, there is some variables and one of them, uh, a major one, and we are not sure whether it will affect uh, the weight or not, is that the box in front of me is a Pokemon 151 traditional Chinese. Now the content, the cut list, everything is the same. Um, the only difference is that these are obviously print in traditional Chinese, whereas Japanese cards are print in Japanese. And traditional Chinese cards, uh, the lettering on them might have more strokes than Japanese, and whether or not that will determine uh, the weight uh, of the packs, we're not 100% sure. We've got three boxes. Uh, again, this is an educational uh, experiment. Uh, leave it in the comments or whatever thoughts you have. Uh, we do have three boxes of these here. We're going to smash them open, weigh them pack by pack, and then obviously separate the weight category. We'll put the weight on the pack so you know what's happening and on the screen as well. With that said, let's get straight into it and let's see what the results are. All right, we waited them all uh, just to give you guys the category. So we've got three packs here at 11.89, which is the lightest. And then we've got the 11.90 to 9.4, the 11.95 to 9.9, and then 12 to 12.04, and then 12.05 uh, uh, to 12.09, and then anything over 12.0. One zero gram. So uh, this set is obviously quite special. It has the Master Ball uh, rare. It has the God Pack. Uh, obviously SAR, SR, so forth and so forth. So uh, we're gonna go start from the lightest as per usual and work our way up and see whether or not uh, the weight matters for Pokemon 151. All right, starting off with uh, three packs in the lightest class at 11.89. Some may argue 11.89 and 11. 0.9 may not make a big difference who knows uh, so we'll see my guess is uh, as per usual the heaviest pack will contain something whereas the lightest pack here straight away uh, we have a master ball uh, chancy uh, here and a regular rare but that's it for the first pack of 11.89 uh, which is kind of like yeah, understandable uh, because the master ball i can't imagine it uh, being true much in terms of variance as we get a normal ball here with a Persian, a uh, Jolteon here, and then a trainer card here. Now going into our last pack, 11.89. And uh, going to the last pack of 11.89. Uh, this will ultimately bust the myth uh, if we pull a SR or a SAR here. So let's see how we go. Caterpie here. We've got the one of the fossil. We've got a Geodude and then a normal rare card here. So the lightest pack, uh, we did get a Master Ball rare, but other than that, we didn't get anything else. So we're going to move on now to uh, 11. 90 to 11.94. Right, starting off with 11.91. 
uh, hard to say uh, with these type of experiment whether these are going to be weighable or not. Uh, I'll be surprised though if we do hit an AR somewhere in here as we get another Master Ball. It's this time we've got the Master Ball uh, Ghastly here and then just a normal rare Mewtwo and then going into 11.93 and I think the next couple of packs are all going to be 11. 0.93 so uh, the only like i said at the start the only biggest variable is whether um you know like i said chinese characters have more strokes on them and whether that will matter uh, in terms of the weighing uh, as we see our first pack 11.93 uh no hits here going into a second pack here and now this again just want to stress this is for educational purpose only uh, if you ever see people going into like Toys R Us or any of these type of places with a scale, you either catch them, call them out, or be careful. Uh, all right, uh, so nothing here at this stage, and people might think I'm crazy. We have instances. I have actually seen firsthand uh, here in Hong Kong some people going at Toys R Us with a scale going to 7-eleven with a scale to weigh pack so don't be surprised uh all right as we get a uh the Firo and then another uh hollow rare here uh with three boxes we are only entitled to uh three master ball rare but we already pulled through so uh, and they are all from the lightest packs at the moment so i'm not saying it's a definitive answer uh it may potentially be uh something there and then again to say red card here now we're going into 11.94 now with three boxes we should be getting around 12 to maybe even 16 uh, i would say uh ex cut uh and then we should be getting three major hits uh unless we get a god pack as well another Hollow there, uh, another hollow there. So 11.94 so far, nothing. And then the next two weight class are the biggest uh, weight class of them all. So we would be assuming that you should be able to get at least your EXs or your AR from those. But so far, this is proving uh, the lighter stuff uh, won't get any hits uh, at the moment. All right. A Dragon near here, Dugong. And then just a normal rare and uh, sorry, normal Pokeball shiny, uh, reverse follow pattern, whatever you want to call it. All right, going into a last pack here for this particular weight class. Uh, we still haven't seen a EX card, still haven't seen an AR card. Uh, so we've got a Psyduck, uh, we've got the Catchy Arm, and then another rare here. So that concludes our 11.90 to 9.4 class. And now we're going into the 9.5 to 9.9 class. All right, here are the number of packs in this particular class. Again, this is the 11.95 to 11.99. So majority of the packs are within this class and the next. So we should be hopefully getting some uh, hits here uh, again uh, we're entitled to 9 AR around maybe 16 EXs uh, and then a 3 box hit here again no uh, no hits there I was just checking it to see if that Butterfree was a master ball uh, sometime uh, when you open packs really quickly you might miss it there so uh, we've got a Diglett and a jolty on there so uh we've done a lot of these weighing experiment and it certainly doesn't seem like uh the other experiment that we have done matter but this one is a little bit more telling uh at the moment uh all right we've got a uh kingler and then another rare here because so far we've just been opening up from the lightest to the heaviest and so far all the light stuff we haven't got a single uh, EX hit here. We certainly got our two Master Ball already. Uh, as we get another one here, uh, and then a B drill there. So we've certainly got our two Master Ball, but uh, no other mega or major hit here. So continuing on, 
and then a gloom oh okay this might break the myth here a little bit here uh we do get the uh the i don't know the english translation for this card actually is the giovanni leadership or something like that uh actually this card is uh i think this card has a lot of potential in terms of competitiveness uh it also looks pretty majestic as well giovanni of course one of the og villain uh with persian there you can see the master ball in the back as well uh in terms of ability this card has a lot of potential but so we just pull a sar from a 11.95 pack so potentially we are busting myths here once again uh, if packs are weighable but I mean, if you look at the certain trends, uh, we obviously opened quite a lot of light packs and we have yet to hit something major beside that card. So the odds are maybe the lighter stuff. Uh, who knows? Uh, I'll let you guys be the judge. I won't be, I, I won't call it. I, I mean, I will only uh, point to this experiment here as we get a Jolteon here and then a Montrose here. Now we're going into the last of the 11.95 and again uh, this is traditional chinese we don't know if the characters on the card being having more strokes will make will matters here uh, as we get the uh, pg there like moving into 11.97 moving into 11.97 here so we are slowly climbing up the weight class uh one big hit which is an sar other than that, very, very, very quiet at the moment. All right, continuing on here, continuing 11.97. Uh, it'll be interesting to know whether or not we can pull a god pack as well. I have, in fact, uh, for some strange luck, have pulled a, a god pack for the Chinese version. Uh, it was a last box as, at one of my friend's shop, and then I decided, hey, I haven't opened the Chinese stuff, might as well buy it. And then uh, we did hit the God Pack with the Charizard and Blastoy. Uh, and as we get an Omastar here, and then another rare here. All right, continuing on 11.97. It would have been nice if we uh, hit it with the Japanese, but we did end up hitting a God Pack with the Chinese stuff. And, and I actually didn't even think about uh, weighing these packs with my Japanese stuff. Uh, because i did order an entire case for them uh but yeah didn't even think about weighing them until uh, uh, i saw in a comment on a video asking me whether or not i'm going to do it so by that time it was too late i think i opened most of my stuff uh so here we are doing it with chinese stuff now i do apologize we did actually have 11.96 here so we're going to go with 11.96 before we go and do our 11.98 uh i Cannot imagine there will be any drastic changes here. We get a uh, Snorlax and a Starmie there. All right, continuing on. So we did going to go back a little bit here. So apologies, uh, we did skip a, a class here, uh, a Cedra, and then another Hollow Rare. All right, here we go. We've got the uh the arm butterfree volpix here just a normal pokeball and then a gyarados here all right this is the last of the 11.96 uh before we jump into 11.98 all right here we go nope a dratini and a kabutops all right we're going into the final packs final few packs uh for our for this particular weight division 11.98 here uh, we've opened i would say uh one and a half box at the moment one and a half box uh, you can see not a lot to show for at the moment uh not a lot to show for at the moment so as we come to these uh heavier packs uh it will be very very telling uh of uh these uh what these are like okay all right two more packs to go all right chameleon ratata 
We've got a uh, Erica here and then a Sami there. All right, final pack here. 11.99, final pack of this white class, white class here. Let's see if 11.99 makes a difference here. All right. And then nothing. Oh, wow. Okay. So with that weight class, we did get an SAR, but it feels like a bit of a surprise. We're going to move into the next, uh, which is 12.0 to 12.04. All right. Going into this particular weight class, 12.00 to 12.04. I would suspect, having a look at the packs, these are where all the EXs are actually going to come into play now, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, three boxes. We should have around 12 to 16 EXs. Uh, still no uh, for this uh, particular one. We're still on the 12 uh, straight uh, weight classes. And no EXs uh, still at the moment. And then, nope, we've got a Flareon here. Again, I'll let you guys be the judge. Put it in the comment section below. I will definitely give my take, I guess, uh, towards the end of the video. Uh, but it is uh, actually, as I'm doing this now, it is actually seems pretty scary. Uh, to tell you the honest truth, as we get our first EX here. Wow. Ekans and Arbrock back to back. What are the chances? Here we go. So uh, we get our first EX here with the, with the 12 flat. Um, that's why... I uh, make the prediction saying that most of the EXs should be coming in uh, here. Nope. Just uh, another Gyarados here. Consider we have 16 and I think we open uh, more than half of a one and a half box now. So and we're not seeing them. So they should be coming up very soon. Again, nothing here. Uh, another 12 flat to open and before we uh, go up even a little bit higher as we get a uh, cafe ball and another hollow rare here all right here we go come on what is it going to be need a queen and then Nino King. Wow. Nino King, Nino Queen, back to back. Okay. All right. 12.01 uh, is where we are at. Uh, only one pack for these. 12.01. Here we go. It's, uh, another Cafe Ball. And another Arbrox. So double the, double the trouble. So 12.01. We're now going to 12.01. Zero two, as you uh, may have saw in the pack. Uh, all right, we got a Kadabra here making its way back. A Cloister and a Wiggly Tough here as another EX here. So this is the uh, prediction was pretty spot on. Uh, we we're saying that a lot of the EXs uh, should be coming into this weight class and seems like we're hitting the nail on the head on this one here and I Predict, I can see uh, the Master Ball Machop is here, and then we see a Mew EX here. So we are starting to gather up all the uh, EXs now. So again, I think you get 12 to 16. So we're now down to our final eight and a bit, I'd say. All right, right on here, and then we have the Venusaur EXs here. All right. Here we go. I already can tell. I think I saw the border of the card. So a Weeping Bell. Oh, okay. All right. So we did get the Venusaur EX here. So we're going to sleep that up. The Venusaur EX here. Very, very nice. Uh, this is, of course, the SR. So we did get a SR. Maybe we'll put it on the side here. Hopefully that's still on the screen. Uh, we'll put it on the side here. And maybe we can move that a little bit and then put that here or something like that. So we did pull uh, 
our second, I suppose you can say, uh, chase cards are really, unless we have uh, an error box between these three boxes, uh, we have pulled two of our hit and then silently, uh, we're moving it. We move into 12.03, now uh, 12.03. Now, mind you, we haven't pulled any of the ARs yet. Uh, now I'm suspecting they're going to come very soon or they need to be coming very soon. Otherwise we have a lot of questions to ask. Uh, we haven't pulled any of the AR yet. Uh, as we speak, we pull the uh, Bulbasaur uh, AR here. So it feels like this is a very green opening. <laughs> we pull the SR and then we pull the uh, AR here. So I'm going to just put that here. Moving into four packs of 12.04 now. Four packs of 12.04. All right. This is where all the all the hits are going to come in now. Every pack, something from now on, at least there will be something here. Maybe not. Maybe not. Twelve point oh four is still an ordinary pack. Uh, let's see. How about with uh, with another pack here? All right, a butter free here again. Just some two ordinary packs here. All right, two more packs of 12.04. Here we go. And we've got a Weezing. And then we've got a Alec Kazam here. All right, final pack of 12.04. Yeah. Here we go. Then an uncommon and another Venus. Oh, yeah. So, with this particular weight class, uh, 12.00 to 12.04, we've got a AR, we've got an SR, and then eight of our EXs uh, came out here to here. Uh, let's move on to the next weight class. All right, the next weight class is quite special it's 0 0.7 0 0.8 0 0.9 we didn't have uh, 0 0.5 0 0.05 we didn't have 0 0.06 so 0 0.07 0 0.08 0 0.09 we're going to open these now from this one onwards i can actually honestly say we are guaranteed hits uh we haven't pulled we're supposed to have nine ar we only pull one and uh, we're supposed to have one more sr card here to show for uh four ex's card as well i would say to show for so here is one, a Kangaskhan EX here, but that was 12.07. How about 12.08? All right, a Fable, Arcanine, Venonet, a War Turtle AR. Uh, so a War Turtle AR here, and then 12.09, 12.09 here. Here we go. All right, a Ponyta and Ekin. Another Bulbasaur AR. There you go. All right, so it was, uh, I mean, it was pretty telling. Uh, we, we knew that we were going to get some AR cards and EX cards. So all three of these uh, in the higher weight class, we uh, got something out of those. So moving on, moving on. Now, this is really special. We've got all of these, uh, so 11, 12, 12, uh, 15. So all of these are considered quite heavy. So these are 11.10 onwards. And again, we should be getting something out of these, I would say. Uh, it'll be crazy, absolutely crazy if we get the God Pack from here. So no God Pack for this particular pack. But we did get a chameleon here as uh, one of our hit here. Okay, so we got a chameleon. What else are we going to get? Um, going, like I said, expecting hits here. A Nido King. Another hit here. All right, 12.12. Here we go. We should be getting at least EXs. 
AR. We still have one more box hit, right? Got a Mewtwo here. And then a nine tails. Yeah, so three uh AR and then a EX yeah, in one. Alright, here we go. We've got three more packs left. 11.13 is our next uh pack here. What is it going to be? No god pack, but another chameleon and then another wiggly tough so so far anything over 11 to 12.10 is guarantee something an ex or and or above so far all right another ar we've got a psyduck ar and then the last and then we've got a uh bulbous saw sorry not a, a blast here oh now our last pack here very very heavy 12.15 is probably the heaviest pack out of everything uh we're missing one chase card i believe we might have all our ars already so let's see how it goes all right uh we're gonna have, or have i pulled all my uh all my all my hits the tangella Oh, and then we got Anonymous uh, help uh, SR card here. So we did find our final hit here being very heavy, 12.15 here. I'm going to sleep these up. So uh, I'm going to sleep up the cards and I'm going to quickly talk about my verdict. All right, there you have it. Uh, we weighed a 60 pack, uh, three boxes. Uh, we've got three hits, uh, three SR and above hits, and then obviously the guarantee uh, nine ar cards here um uh, my verdict is that if you are buying loose packs i would almost certainly want to see they open the box right in front of you and then you buy the loose packs or if they are doing a live stream i wouldn't necessarily go and purchase any loose packs online to selling them if you don't do not know the person or if you don't trust them because after this experiment and this is quite an interesting one i know we pulled uh, the sar quite early in a very light pack and that might have been just by chance but through this little experiment here it did seems that the heavier packs uh, contain at least sort of the ar or ex card and then you saw on the last pack here there that the heaviest pack did contain uh, a uh, the, the kit and an AR card as well. Of course, the, this is a small sample size. 60 packs is a very, very small sample size and not a definitive answer. I will let you guys be the judge and you guys can comment in the comment section below what your thoughts are. Uh, I personally have always been against buying loose packs uh, unless you know the source uh, or you, you uh, physically there looked at the person, opened the box and put those packs uh, to uh, on the loose pack or oh, maybe even buying it from pokemon center hopefully that's safe with that said i hope you enjoyed this particular video uh if you did make sure you smash the like make sure you subscribe if you haven't already done so make sure you ring the bell for the latest videos and update if you are opening up some pokemon cards today mate the god of pools be with you always